my name is Timile and I'm in my late twenties. I met a guy when I went to Canada for my masters. I relocated back to Nigeria after acquiring my master's degree. And since then, something has been odd about my man. He barely texts me and still won't return my calls. On Christmas Eve, I went to the shopping mall with my mom and caught up with our old time schoolmate who was with her son. We exchanged greetings and I exchanged contacts with him, with her son. Since that day, he has been professing love for me and plans to get married to me by June. Please, I need answers. Should I get married to him or wait for my Canadian boo to return back? I need answers, please. My family are on my case to get married because I am approaching 30. Okay, so just in case you are, Timina, just in case you are watching us right Just in case now. you are watching us so that I don't think that we are making fun of you, okay? Because um, <laughs> you may... What's, what's the essential story here? The essential story is that he's in his late 20s. She's in her late 20s. Yes. She met a guy she when she went to Canada, Canada for her master's. Yeah. She has relocated back to Nigeria after acquiring the master's degree. And then the guy that she met in Canada, now that she's back in Nigeria, is no longer picking her calls. He doesn't respond to texts. Okay. On Christmas Eve, she went shopping and met somebody else. And her mother's a schoolmate's son. Son, yes. And then they exchange greetings, they have contact. And since that day, the mother's schoolmate's son wants to marry her. Yeah. So she's now asking that should she wait for, wait for her Canadian, the Canadian guy yeah. to. <laughs> do what exactly? <laughs> I'm, 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 that's why I said I'm confused. Wait, I'm sure. Of... Okay, so let me not bias. Let me not bias because I, I already have my own bias. Everybody know where I stand. <laughs> I don't believe in long distance relationships. Long distance relationships don't work. All right. What ends up happening is people just end up cheating on themselves, and then so they waste each other's time. That's my belief. Okay, I won't say more than that. <laughs> so Osato, your thoughts, and then we. We'll... We go into the um, chats. Okay, for the fact that the guy in Canada is not even giving her attention anymore, she's supposed to know that it's even over. So she's not even supposed to waste her time. And she has to take, take the opportunity that she's seeing now before it's even too late, before she even gets to that 30. And probably this, since this guy is like a close um, person with the mom, the mother is like her friend and all those things, I feel like it might work out actually. Yeah. Not the one that she's waiting for someone that is not even talking. She's, she's, she's blind by love. I uh, okay. I am short of words. <laughs> oh, Mr. Femi, our Can- Canadian boo has joined the chat. <laughs> we have a Canadian boo in the chat. So, <laughs> Mr. Femi is live from Canada. You, this is your specialty. So, you Canadian bro, yeah. Even say make sure you wait for my brother, please. Even over, over, to, over to you. Let's just uh, let's hear your talk. I'm nervous. I didn't realize. I didn't try to like. I run jack one for one fifty like this, like this, like this, like this. But yeah, I'll, I'll support my Canadian. You have the Canadian boo that they are waiting to come back, man. You know, I'm ready to do it. I'm ready now, Mr. Femi. Chimps of Comfort is saying that why would you wait for Canadian boo? On no account should the woman wait for a man. The only valid waiting is the return of our Master Jesus. <laughs> um, <laughs> you people are, you guys are bringing smoke in this conversation. Um, Chimsy also, Femi Adigo says that makes you wait for my brother. Then um, Chimsy Comfort is saying long distance relationship works though. She's trying to like, well, your part where you said you don't believe it works. So she's trying, trying to say it works. Then Fonz Plus said, don't worry, we we'll come back for you. <laughs> for you. Then Mr. Peter is saying, Metusala is the form of, Metusala is the form of a relationship. She go, wait, Taya. Okay, why are you guys like this? Okay. So people should not discourage that. Don't like, discourage people, don't like people who, are, who are looking for long distance love. They don't be. You can't. Maybe our own case might be different. All right, so Mr. Femi, we have you. Let's just. Um, so, Femi, let's have you. Sorry. Um, I First of all, I want to say I don't think she should wait because it doesn't make sense. Because, like, first of all, long distance relationship is a big stretch. There's a lot of, like, emotions involved in it. So, it's like. It's like let's even ask ourselves the real question. Are they satisfying each other like emotionally and all those kind of you know things? And if that's not there, I don't see the relationship working. Honestly, that's just my own take. I feel like she should go now. Who you see, may she go with? Because like the person way they wait for for Canada for a year, you know what thing they do. You know if they follow a woman. 
So and it's the case we see every day. So I believe like she should just like you know move on. Okay, so what I, about if I want to ask something? What about if the guy was giving her attention and everything? The Canadian boo was giving her like attention to, and this guy came came in to the picture. That case, that case is different because like obviously, I think my sister and her husband like they were celebra- they were separated like it was in the state and she was in Nigeria for like three years before they she eventually moved there. So he came back, then they got married, then he was still there. So it was just a case of like you know trying to like get every immigration you know back and forth, but. Mm-hmm. That that scenario that I brought in, they were talking, they were having the conversation, the conversation was flowing, so that's quite different. But like, if the guy is not giving her the necessary attention and the necessary, you know, care and everything, then I don't think she should waste her time towards because these boys with the uh, they 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 be devil. Mm. <laughs> they do or not do. Mm. <laughs> we're gonna have a breath. Let's just okay. So let's just quickly do this. Um, yeah, your thoughts on that? Should she? Okay. Okay. So. So the thing is that sometimes eh, who we really love is actually beside us. Now we go far to we find love. Like already what that girl said. Since since you have someone that's close to you and you cannot deal with long distance at the beginning, I don't think you should even go for it. So if not that you even you if if not that you are clocking at a particular age and there's some kind of pressure. I know that okay, so this whole long distance thing is not working out. I don't think we should start start at the very beginning. And she just goes for someone that, uh, that is beside her, close to her. She's like he said, she's clocking 30 and she doesn't have that time anymore. So your Canadian boo might just be using you as a time Small to go and, 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 and emotional, uh, uh, emotional support or something. Why you have someone that is just beside you, someone that is like, you know. So I feel that she should, she should just take things in consideration and put someone that is actually serious and in front of her. Some for, for people that like physical attention, physical touch, and all these things. So, hey, she can but so you cannot you cannot have physical touch with a Canadian dinner. So you get and all this attention and all this kind of uh, um, love language. So the one close to you is the better option. Okay, miracle. Your thoughts, and then we'll, we'll wrap up with um, wrap up with Ibube. Okay, first things first, you have to ask yourself some questions. First question is, do you actually want to get married, or is it because someone already proposed that I want I want to get married to you by June? Are you really ready for the marriage? She's ready. And she said it's up to thirty now. She's going to thirty, and her parents are telling her that she get married. And marriage is not age. She, so you might not actually be ready for that marriage, but because you've heard, I I promise you married by June, and she just like, he's serious now. That's why she's saying it now. He's serious. According to what she said, he's already like saying, I want to get married to you by June and all these things. He's professing his love for her already. So don't you think he's serious, or you think he's just saying it? He might just be saying it to have another way, but let's just say he's serious. And uh, number two, your Canadian boo. Uh, what's your communication skill? What's your communication uh, range with him? Is it like communicating That's well? Is he, he's not. He's ignoring already now. No. He's not. Oh, he's already ignoring now. Exactly. Okay. My dear, you only live once, like Ebuwe said. So I mean, you've seen someone that is ready for marriage. Just move on with the person. That's all. I mean, you are also ready as well. And you said, like you said, you are over 30 or something. So you see someone that loves you. I mean, he's proposing marriage and everything. So therefore, he loves you. So uh, the best thing is just to go for someone that is willing to put you under his shelter and, you know, make children with you and everything. Okay. All right. So if, 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 if so let's just take a couple of comments and then we'll, we'll ask, um, we'll have a best thoughts on this. So, um, Fun Splash is saying, even with the attention, he goes still, he goes still meow you. So go for your Niger demon. Fun Splash also says that seriously, why wait for some reason you return your calls? You automatically know he's out of the deal with you. Out of sight, out of my mind. <laughs> my thoughts. Please. Chimsy Comfort said, um, giving attention is another case. This new guy is talking marriage. As long as she's ready to marry, she should just please get married to him as soon as possible. Peter and all of says, Uncle Gabriel, you that love physical touch, if you jam the palace, sister. Wait, what, what did I just read? 
Okay, so I, I guess I won't read any. I'm going to stop there because <laughs> there won't be a difference with the Canadian boy and the law. <laughs> All right, so so Ebbe, yes, your thoughts. My thoughts on this is eh, it's very surprising though. <laughs> <laughs> My, my Canadian boyfriend, I'm seeing you over there. Welcome. <laughs> so you, <laughs> like Mira said, is she in a hurry to marry because her family are prejudicing her? Or she wants to marry because the guy is saying so? There are two different things. And the third one, is she married because she's getting close to 30? Because from these three points that I just raised, hmm? Sorry to say, but there's a possibility that the marriage won't last up to five years. Because number one, she's going to marry that guy based on desperation that this guy just wants to marry me. Number two, I want to marry because I'm close to 30. Number three, my mom's friend's um, son. So the friendship between the mom and the guy's mom will still be close. And number four, she's feeling like, okay, oh, uh, my Canadian boyfriend, I love him, but this one says he loves me. So you see these four points right now will make the marriage not to stand the test of time. We are women. We actually get our feelings built from the person who we actually um, see, who we, we love at first sight most times than the person who is loving us uh -huh. it's now later on when the shaggy has started now we will start going for who is loving us because the one that we are loving is now showing us shaggy for me again i would advise her to go for the one in nigeria because the one in canada has already left her that one is by the wayside because for him not to return your call not to even send you a message it means he was using you to pass time to fulfill your own uh, mission on earth in canada you have <laughs> so now that you have passed you should be useful to yourself in nigeria let her go for that guy but she should have these four thoughts before she say yes to that guy is she marrying the guy because she loves the guy or she's marrying the guy because the guy loves her or because she's approaching 30 and she doesn't want to be single or she is marrying the guy to please her mom and create a bond between the mom and the guy's mom these are the four things that she needs to know because if not i'm telling you the marriage won't stand and if she's there listening to me my dear i'm not praying anything bad for you but this is just the reasons or the few things that you should expect because I know that deep down she has no feeling for that young man. So she should just advise herself and advise her future to save everyone from talking and family meeting and everything. A pastor pray, peace to be in the marriage and all. Thank you. Next question, please. Okay. Okay. She should send um, the invitation card, the invitation card to. Uh, Canadian boyfriend, if she eventually gets married to the Nigerian guy. You, I just, I think, I can't believe I heard what you just said now. You said she should send what? Invitation <laughs> card to the... Send invitation card. Yes, yeah, thank Canadian you. Boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this this is, this is, this is our position on the show. I don't know if I speak for you, but this is my own position. I think that, and I would say that, I feel sorry for the Nigerian boyfriend. I feel sorry yes, for... Yes, I feel sorry for him too. I feel sorry for being because and I know you may not like this, okay, because you think you send this into the show and then you expect us to give advice. My own advice is this if you are very, very certain that you do not like the person you are with, she should let him go. Just let the guy go. Because, because she's gonna suffer that guy. Because if the two of you have issues, it's gonna spill into your mother and his mother's um Ooh, so yes. much more larger family issues. And the guy may not be able to walk away from you because um because of his mother's relationship with your mom mm -hmm. we've had people and I've, and I've spoken to people after the show who have come on the show and I've spoken to people after the show who have dated people not because they like them but because their family members 
kind of like pressure them into dating them. Yeah. You would be surprised that the young man you question who is dating you is not dating you because he even is like all over you. He probably is dating yeah. you because he thinks that his mom eh, cannot give him a terrible choice in a wife. And so if if if, if you are uncertain, I would say that you probably should sort out your issues. There's nothing too there's nothing too bad in you telling the telling the young man to take out time to give you like six months or a year to turn your head. But I would say whatever the relationship with the Canadian guy is, just bury it and move on. The gentleman in the live stream uh, who is who is in Canada right now has told you that you are they probably were using you uh, to keep warm in the Canadian winter. You know that Canada is very, very cold. Winter months are, are very cold if you want to survive. You know, so maybe you are just being used for body eats. And now that it's over, you're back in Nigeria. The reality has don't.